For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's uh, replace this distributed loading by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at A. You see this distributed loading, you know you gotta find the areas. You got three, sh three shapes, two triangles and a rectangle. You can see them, this is long rectangle and these two triangles that are symmetrical. So this length is equal to three kilonewtons per meter. And this length is also three kilonewtons per meter. Now you know that the equivalent of this force, let's call it F1, acts one third from the tollage of the triangle, same as this one, let's call it F2. And it acts at one third of this triangle and the rectangular distributed load, let's call it F3, acts out right in the middle. So F1 from A acts at one meter because it's one third of the length of the triangle, which is three. F2 acts at three meters and F3, and I'm sorry, F3 acts at three meters and F2 acts at five meters because is one but from the other side. So let's find the forces first. F1 is equal to the area of the triangle. What's the area of the triangle? Its height is three, its length is three, but you gotta divide by two because it's a triangle. So this comes out to be 4.5 kilonewtons. F2, gotta, guys, get in the habit into like using your common sense. You can see that the triangles have the same area, they're symmetrical, they just flip. So it's gonna have the same magnitude. You can calculate it or you can get into the habit of saving time by using a little bit of common sense. Now F3 is the area of the rectangle, which has a height of three kilonewtons per meter times a length of six meters. The meters cancel out. Three times six is 18 kilonewtons. The resultant force is the sum of these three forces. When you add them up, you see that it's 27 kilonewtons. And the moment is equal to F1, as you can, let's assume clockwise is positive. F1 is turning this lever arm of one meter plus F2 is turning this lever arm of three meter, I'm sorry, F3 is turning this lever arm of three meters clockwise as well, so it's positive, and F2 is turning this lever arm of five meters clockwise. When you plug in F1, F2, and F3, which we found them into this formula and you solve for the moment, you get that this is equal to 81 kilo newton meters. Final answer for the moment, final answer for the resultant force, final answer for F3, F2, and F1. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.